Praise the Lord and welcome to day 11 on fasting and praying for the Praise Bible Church in year 2024. My name is Bishesh and I had a great opportunity to serve among the youth of Praise Bible Church. And today I want to share from Matthew chapter number 5 verse number 44 and it says like this, But I say, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. When we read this verse, uh, it is uh, in Matthew chapter number 5, 6 and 7, uh, the Sermon on the Mount. And Jesus is uh, giving this amazing preaching that how to live our life according to God's desire. And uh, he's not only uh, uh, giving these principles or giving this uh, word, but he, when he was on this earth, he was living each of the world. He actually showed us how to live the life according to God's desire. And the verse says that love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. We live in the world where uh, the terms enemy comes in, it always comes back with the revenge, uh, tit for tat and those kind of things. But Jesus is giving completely opposite teaching that instead of hating them, instead of taking a revenge, instead of developing a bitterness towards them, you, you, you and I need to pray for our enemies. And also he's stepping forward and, and asking us to pray for those who persecute you. And uh, I just want to, uh, when I was reading this word, I want to derive three points out of it. Uh, how prayer can help us uh, to deal with our enemies. First point I want to give that prayer will draw our attention uh, uh, towards God. Prayer will help us to draw our attention instead of an enemy, we uh, focus on Jesus. Now, when we are focusing on Jesus, he will make a way for each one of us. When we are focusing on Jesus, he deposits his peace into our heart. Uh, during the time of prayer, we are not looking at the, uh, the situation or you're no, we are not looking at the things what our enemy or the person has done into our life, but we are focusing on Jesus. Prayer will also help us uh, not to sin. Uh, when we are going through a situation uh, with our enemies or people uh, who are behind us, uh, who want to harass us, who wants to do wrong to us, most likely uh, we deal uh, in anger or bitterness. But when you are praying, you are drawing your attention towards Jesus. And when you are praying, it will help you not to develop that bitterness, that anger, or any kind of action uh, towards uh, taking a revenge. Prayer can definitely help you not to sin. And the third point I want to give you is when you are praying, that will allow God to work in your situation. Technically, you are giving the full charge to Jesus to work into your situation, to work with your enemies. And what would Jesus do? He, while you are experiencing his peace through prayer, he will start working with your enemies. He will start making a way for you and me. He will start changing the person or in some cases, he will remove that person from your life. Uh, the best thing to do when you, when you and I are dealing with our enemies is to pray and pray to, so God can work into their life. Now, when Jesus is t uh, teaching about this principle, he has also demonstrated it through his life. The Bible says, when we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. And in some of the translations uh, says like this, that when we were enemy of God, Christ died for us. And when we see the account of when Jesus was crucified, he was on the cross and he chose to intercede for the people who was persecuting him. And he says in Luke chapter number 23, verse 34 says like this, Father, forgive them for they do not know what they are doing. So let's change our approach towards our enemies. Instead of hating them, instead of taking a revenge, or in, instead of de developing a bitterness into our heart, we need to love them. And prayer can help us. Prayer will allow us to draw our attention towards God. Prayer also will help us not to sin. 
and prayer can uh, allow God to work into our situation or with our enemies. Let's pray together. Dear Heavenly Father, we come unto you in the name of Lord Jesus Christ, Lord. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you, Lord, for your goodness upon our life, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for your word, Lord, and not only your word, but thank you, Lord, for demonstrating this word into our life, Lord. Lord, as your word says that love your enemies, Lord, I pray for so you can deposit your love into our heart for our uh, for the people who are our enemies, who are behind us, who are persecuting us, Lord. Lord, we want to give the full excess of our life, Lord. We want to come through the submission and the Holy Spirit, Lord, you take charge of our life, Lord, and make a way in, into our situation, Lord. You can help us not to develop a bitterness, Lord, not, not to uh, develop an anger towards people, Lord, but help us to give love to others, Lord. That's my prayer, Lord. We submit and surrender ourselves into your hand, Lord. Lord, you receive all the glory in and through us. That's my prayer. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Thank you and God bless you all.